I have decided to do something um, that I don't really normally bake because I fancied something different but also something quite simple. I am going to make a coffee cake with a cream cheese and walnut icing. I'm going to make a loaf cake just because it's a bit smaller and um, not really sure who's going to be eating this so I'll have to work that bit out. So I thought a smaller cake is probably ideal and that might work better for you depending on how many people you have living with you at the moment in lockdown. You need to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius and I, uh, you can line the tin. I have just used a little bit of extra butter and then dusted some flour through. I'm using my mixer. You can just do this by hand with a bowl and a wooden spoon. So really, really basic. So in here, I have got 170 grams of soft unsalted butter and 170 grams of light brown sugar. You need to have a tablespoon of instant coffee and then a tablespoon of water and dissolve of hot water and dissolve that in because we don't really want it to be boiling hot when we add it to the cake batter. Do that first and then what we're going to do is just cream these together. So just use your wooden spoon if you're using a bowl of wooden spoon. I'm being lazy today, so I'm just going to, again, turn it on and start mixing it up. And, whoa, I've got three large eggs. I'm going to crack in one at a time and then give it a mix in between each egg. And if you are using a mixer in between each egg, just give it a scrape down so that all, all the stuff's getting mixed together. And the third and final egg. Oh, oh, no. Oh, call that. So to this mixture, I've got a sieve and I've got 170 grams of self-raising flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And we're gonna sieve it in and then fold it gently. So we're folding this instead of using the mixer or the wooden spoon, just because it keeps the air in and then it makes sure that the cake rises really nicely. If you're whacking all the air out of it, then it's not gonna rise. Now I don't normally make coffee cake because I am a tea fanatic, but I just fancied something a bit new, you know? So that looks like a beautiful cake batter on its own. But what is a coffee cake? without our coffee and this should now be it's nice and cool so just add that in should be quite thick and dark you don't want to drink it i don't drink a lot of coffee but i'm a bit of a coffee snob so i don't like instant coffee purely because i don't trust drinks that are made in the same way that you make a gravy so coffee granules are odd to me i don't get it so I might as well use the ones I've got for a cake. Again, just fold this in until it's all incorporated and it doesn't look marbled. And now we should have quite a, a coffee coloured batter, which is promising. And we're just gonna add this to our greased or lined loaf tin. Smooth it down. Make sure that it's quite even in the pan. And then this is gonna go into the oven for about half an hour. So see you in a bit. So it's had its um, half an hour in the oven. You might need 35 minutes. Check after half an hour. Um, and if the cake skewer or the fork or the knife comes out clean, then it's ready to take out of the oven. As you can see, nice little loaf cake. 
But while it's cooling, what I'm going to do is flip it over onto the other side because we're going to ice the top of this and it just gives a nice flat surface to ice on. So just leave that to cool down for the cream cheese frosting. I've got 100 grams of cream cheese and I've got about 100 grams of unsalted butter. Melt gently in a pan over a really low heat and I'm just letting that cool down now before I add it into anything. So just let it cool for about 10 minutes. And then I've got about 400 grams of icing sugar. And again, what I've done is the same as when we made the cake. I've got one tablespoon of instant coffee granules and one tablespoon of boiling water and let that dissolve in. Either use a mixer or an electric whisk for this. You can use a wooden spoon, but you want to get it nice and fluffy. So I'm just going to start mixing that cream cheese. And then slowly add in the icing sugar a little bit at a time. And I've put about two thirds of my icing sugar in now. So what I'm going to do is I'm slowly, there we go, there's quite a bit in the bottom, slowly going to add in that melted butter as it's mixing and then there's still icing sugar left to thicken it up again. And then really slowly pour your butter in, like really slowly. And again, just make sure that you're scraping down the bowl. And after all your butter's mixed in, then you can continue to add the remaining icing sugar. I've got the coffee here and I've also, because it depends how much you like coffee, if you just want it to taste of coffee, then just add this in. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla just to give it that little kick of sweetness um, because otherwise it might be a little bit bitter. I've got vanilla bean paste, you can use vanilla extract. I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of this just to offset that bitter coffee flavour. So half a teaspoon of that and then in with your now should be quite cool coffee mixture. So I'm going to turn this on again and then in with the coffee. Put that on a medium heat, medium, medium heat, put that on a medium setting. My head. Medium speed until it's a little bit thicker. Had a few minutes whisking if you do still feel like it's still not very thick just add another couple of tablespoons of icing sugar in and before i ice the cake i'm just going to put this in the fridge for about five minutes just to firm up a bit and um, because we added that melted butter it just means that when the butter starts to um, solidify properly again then that is what is going to make the icing a bit firmer so just put it in the fridge for a couple of minutes so the icing is now a bit firmer and I've put it into a piping bag. I haven't added a nozzle because what I'm going to do is cut a couple of centimetres across. I'm just winging this, by the way. It should open up to about the size of a pound coin or a little bit smaller than that. You don't have to pipe this, by the way. If you do just want to spread the icing on top, that's completely fine but I want to give it a little bit of pizzazz. I'm gonna hold it up like this. I'm gonna apply a bit of pressure and then I'm gonna pull the icing bag away so you get almost like a nice kiss sort of shape. And I'm gonna do that all across the cake. So, and then pull it up. And then I'm just gonna keep going down the cake until it's all covered. Um, there is quite a lot of icing left, so um, you don't need to make that much. But you could freeze this 
Yeah, I did wing this today, so I didn't think about this. Or you could cut this in half and even then uh, do a bit more icing. And then what I've got is some walnut halves. Um, and I'm just going to plonk these in the sort of middle of the, the little kisses. So that every sort of slice has a walnut. So there you have your coffee and walnut loaf cake, ready to eat with a nice coffee or a cup of tea.